Is of Chicago recently launching its Future Ready program, which offers education in high demand fields at no cost to students. Time's running out to register for the program or for spring classes. City College's Chancellor Juan Salgado joining us now to talk more about the program. But before we get to the program, Juan, tell me about COVID protocols at City Colleges. We know we're in the middle of teachers negotiating their return back to schools, to, back to the classroom. What is going on at City Colleges as far as protocols concerned? Well, we have a requirement. We, we have both remote uh, course options as well as in-person course options. For those students that are interested in in-person course options, they will need to test 72 hours before their first class um, and continue to test weekly. Uh, all employees are required to test 72 hours before return as well as test weekly. We will be doing this through February 25th with the possibility of an extension. Uh, this is to ensure the safety and well-being of all of those in our buildings. Has it been difficult to maneuver? Uh, it's It's been a challenge without question, but nothing compared to the challenge that our students face. Our students are, in many cases, frontline workers. Uh, they're at the edge of the economy trying to get a, a, a better place in the economy. And it's through our education and our programs that they are able to do that. That's why we launched Future Ready to make sure that we eliminated the barriers uh, that our students might face in order to get ahead in life. Future Ready, free classes for folks who want to launch a new career. Tell us a little more about that. What we did is we identified a uh, 100 or a little more than 100 programs that are short term in nature that lead to high demand occupations. And we said to all Chicagoans, these programs are free. Come now, come now. This is a range of programs that we have that are in high demand. We're talking about healthcare, technology, transportation, distribution, logistics, cannabis operations, automotive tech, criminal justice, carpentry, construction management. I can go on. There are a hundred of these programs where you can find a good paying job. And we've said to our students, come register now get this for free. We're using our federal funds to do this. Uh, and our registration, by the way, for the coming semester uh, closes uh, this Friday, the 14th. But then we have a second session that closes February 10th. And so uh, I would really encourage anyone who is interested in these high demand fields to come uh, look us up, look Future Ready up, enroll. This is a wonderful opportunity uh, to take advantage of, 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 of the free opportunity to get that career that you need and want. How are you able to offer these classes free? Well, we did use, we did receive federal funds like many colleges and universities uh, did, and we decided to prioritize it directly to student benefit. In this case, to providing these courses for free. They will be free this semester we hope to continue to do it for the next two semesters. And uh, so, you know, now's the time. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing because so many people during this uh, pandemic are trying to pivot, looking for new careers, new jobs. Yes, and I want to encourage every student out there, every potential student, follow your dreams. This is the opportunity to do so. Uh, don't think about what you might not uh, have Think about what you do have in talent and ingenuity and entrepreneur skills in all of those things that you have brought to your workplace. Think about your assets. You have so many of them and then follow your dreams. We will help you do that. City College's Chancellor Juan Salgado, be safe, be well. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Well, coming up, the Bears are officially on the search for a new coach and GM. The parting words George McCaskey had for Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace. That's next in sports. Tax season just around the corner. What you need to know about filing your taxes this year. And on the news at 6, why the state of Virginia is reporting an alcohol shortage with more than 200 products missing from their shelves.